Hey guys, it's your boy Nisha, back with another video. And today we're going to be kind of doing a breakdown of the new Avengers Endgame trailer that just came out today. So obviously, I've watched this trailer a couple times, and I've realized that this trailer actually has a lot of important key details that will help us make very accurate conclusions about the upcoming Avengers Endgame movie. So, without any further ado, let's start the video. Thousand years ago, I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man, realized I loved you. I know. So obviously Tony Stark is reflecting on his life, and he is not wanting to stay stuck in space, he really wants to come back to Earth, because after all that he's done, he realized that his life was very great and had a great meaningful life. And it was really worth it. And he doesn't want to lose his life yet. I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. So obviously, this is probably Captain America reflecting on his life. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. The best that we can do is to start over. I saw all these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. So obviously up to this point, we have a lot of information. First of all, like when you're seeing all the black and white scenes, obviously all the heroes are reflecting on their past and like they're thinking about what a great effect that Thanos' gauntlet snap actually had on their lives. And now Captain America just said, I told people to just forget about it and kind of move past it. Some do, but not us. So obviously, we heard Captain America saying that some people actually moved past Thanos' gauntlet and the effect that it has. But the Avengers, their job is to save planet Earth and keep it happy. So obviously, they will not pass. They will find a solution to this problem. Here we also see Scott Lang, and he's kind of shocked because during the snap, he was actually stuck in the quantum realm. And I think this, this point in the movie is when he just gets out of the quantum realm and is really shocked to see all these missing posters. And the world is empty because obviously 50% of the world's population just faded away. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. So this could all be from a big fighting scene in the movie. Whatever it takes. It seems like whatever it takes is kind of the slogan for this movie because the Avengers need to do whatever it takes to restore the 50% of the population that faded away due to the Thanos' gauntlet snap. And we also see these amazing new costumes. Okay. This is the biggest part of the trailer right here that revealed so much information. Well, it's not really so much information, but we actually know for a fact that Tony Stark and Nebula return back to Earth and they are not stranded in space. Because over here we see on the on the like the right hand right side of your screen, we see Tony Stark and Nebula walking along with the rest of the Avengers with their new suits. So obviously we know that Avengers will have Tony Stark and Nebula to help them fight this amazing problem. And also, we know we can guarantee that Ant-Man was rescued out of the quantum realm. We don't know how that happened, though. So, and that will be revealed in the movies or possibly upcoming trailers.
So this was actually the post credit scene of Captain Marvel. If you haven't seen that, that came out last week. I like this one. So basically what happens in the scene was Captain Marvel comes to Earth and goes to the Avengers base and says, let's kill Thanos. And so the Avengers are kind of unsure because they, like, they don't know to trust this person. And so in order to test her superhero abilities and kind of stuff like that, Thor summons his hammer right in front of her face. Normally any normal person would just kind of be really scared at the force that the hammer is coming. But Captain Marvel, since she's an amazing superhero, she doesn't even flinch. And Thor is really surprised at this. And he knows that Captain Marvel will be beneficial to their adventure of saving 50% of the population that was faded away. So yeah, that was the end of the trailer. We also got a confirmed release date, April 26th. In the previous trailers, it just said that um, it would release in April, but now we have confirmed date, April 26th. Mark your calendars, because this will be the movie of the year. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching the video, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the post notifications button. Don't forget to like the video and share it with all your friends. So yeah, overall, the trailer brought a lot of new insight about the movie itself. Yeah, that'll be it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.